How are you guys? It's Raven Lip Fishing, and uh, we did the catch part um, the other day in the bait fishing video, and now we're about to do the cook part. So we're out here. We've got two rolls right here. Guess we're probably gonna use this one. And we are over, actually, over on the beach. So we're gonna grill out here. My dad's pulling up in the car over there. Right there, there he is. And uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna need our um, charcoal. It's already got lighter fluid on it, but you're gonna need lighter fluid. And we've got our lighter right there. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, it's already got the, there's some water to put it out. And, oh, that's my head. And we'll get right to it. So, which girl, probably that one. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we have our grill right here. There's ants on that. Okay, leave it off, put the bag in there, All right. Buy a match light, leave it all in the bag. Depending on how much you're using, how big the match light bag is. If it's a small match light, just, and it's a one use kind of thing, light this bag. That wasn't working. <laughs> Kitchen. Let me just give y'all a there. Let me just let me just give y'all a quick thing of grill etiquette when you're out in public. So when you're out here, but uh, when you're out here, number one, just if you're in public, especially, you you should always be around it. Like if you're on a camping trip and you're in the woods and you're grilling, always be around that fire. Don't leave and come back later once it's burnt. Um, almost dropped that. So, also, also, you should always probably have water on you just in case, especially in a camping area in the woods. And uh, make sure you cover that good. And then just, if, especially if it's a public place, like a public grill like this, you should, uh, you should clean up your mess, uh, definitely and like in a camping area too. So, it was just some tips. Uh, grill etiquette, really, not just tips. And my dad's running he, over there to get the fish and everything. He'll be back in a minute. My dad brought uh, everything, brought me a drink. So we've got some Everglades seasoning here. And the garlic salt. Uh, let me see it. If you don't have fresh garlic, this is the next yeah. best thing. You don't have fresh garlic, you get fresh garlic salt. I wouldn't go for paste on that. Let me see that. We've got fresh, or not fresh, we've got garlic salt. We've got ground pepper, ground black pepper. We've got crystal uh, Louisiana pure hot sauce. Sea salt, grinded. Whoa, look. You see all that coming off my cup? Look. So what we're doing here is, is we're taking this, and we're doing something called a herbo pack. 
that right there. Yep. And I'm not very good at turning for me. There we go. Okay, so then, Dad, what are we doing next? Take one. Oh yeah, we got lemon slices here. There's one. And then you cross another. Now you're gonna take pieces of butter out of the door. Okay, so I'm gonna take these pieces of butter. And rub the oil. With one of the sticks of butter so the skin doesn't stick. Now, take a piece of butter. I'm gonna rub the foil in. So the skin doesn't stick. Place the fish, fish skin down. And we're gonna place. Thank you. You can narrate this because I'm not gonna keep repeating you. Is that about good? Yep. Now take the fish. Ah, an itch. Okay. So now we're taking the fish. Are we cooking all of it right now or just? Oh, we have two pieces. Okay. So here's the skin. I'll go like that. That. Whoops. Now, go ahead and start seasoning it with okay. salt and pepper, okay, Everglades. Pepper. That's good. Yeah, a little bit more. A little more. There we go. Okay. Everglades. Everglades? Seasoning. Seasoning, yeah. Not. You gotta open that up more. I do I say that? Get it off of it. These ants are hurting. That thing wasn't opened all the way. Alright. Put it closer down to the fish. Better or more? You put it on. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> you gotta actually aim it at where you're. Yeah, it's all over the fish. Where it's no, I'm to. talking about the camera. Don't do your thing. Yeah. Cover the whole fish. Yep, cover the whole fish, like I didn't do. Lemon. We're squeezing the lemon on next. About two halves, depending on the size of your red fish. Half the butter. Put two, like, I guess, I want to say two quarters of thick butter. It's about a half a stick. Half a stick, but uh, thickness about three quarters actually, yeah. A little bit of losing and it's just all cheese. <laughs> if you don't like spicy things, you don't have to put that, but it's not going to be that spicy after. Just put on a couple of lemon slices. Oh. All right, now we fold it like the hobo cap. And how long do we want to have it sit there? Those are pretty thick, so it'll probably be about 20 minutes. So, about 20 minutes. Open it up and check it periodically to see if it's flaky. Okay, so open it up through the uh, course of it cooking and see if it's flaky. And Flaky is done. Yeah, when it's flaky is done. And we will get to you once it's time. Just a little tip of common sense. Pear tong. Pear tong. And when you're opening this on the grill, use the tongs to open it. It's it's smart. Oh wow. Look at that. 
make sure you guys rewrap it once you're done and flip it over. Not like, don't rewrap it with your hands, use your tongs. Just fold it back in. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but just flip it. If, and if the fish is thick. If the fish, thick. if the fish is thick. So like meaty, but not, if it's a thin little dinker fish, don't, you don't need to. But for in the case of a redfish that thick, well, you should probably flip it or else it's not gonna get both sides quickly. All right, so our fish is ready. Pick up the fish. Oh, come here. Pretty good. So it just flakes off. All right, so it just flakes off like that, and that's how you know it's ready. It's nice and white on the inside. Okay. Like the cutting board? Yeah. Actually, would you do some, do me a favor, wrap them, another piece of foil? Yeah. I so I can take that back and have it loose in your fingers. Yeah. Oh, so nice. So are we taking this back to... Bring me that. Okay. Stop. Okay. Okay, stop. That's really distracting. Um, I'm gonna dig in to this fish. Oh, that looks so good. It smells great too. All right. Make sure there's no bone in that. I think I'm good. All right. That's really good. I could eat that all day. That's really good, guys. Yeah, that's <laughs> mm. And it's not spicy at all, honestly. There's like no kick. That just it helps. It helps out. Yeah, it's really good. So you guys should put some of that on it, whether you like spicy or not. Louisiana hot sauce. Crystal. crystal. It's called Crystal Louisiana Hot Sauce. And, uh, where? Never mind. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this up. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming on these adventures with me and uh, supporting me. So I will see you next time. Bye.